Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back. Today we are playing Pokemon Scarlet and we are back on that Team Star Challenge. So, I think today we're going to take on the... Ooh, I meant to jump. Uh, take on the Fairy Star. Oh, I'm being pulled down. Okay. Dan, what's up, buddy? Operation Starfall is going well, wouldn't you say? Only two bosses left now. This whole experience has been eye-opening, to say the least. I'm glad I could take part. Yeah, me too. But I'm curious, Dan. What do you think of Cassiopeia? Um, they're a bag of riddles. Personally, I don't think Cassiopeia feels any hate or resentment toward Team Star. No. There must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall. But what could it be? Well, I'd best get back to keeping watch. Call for me if you decide to take on the base, okay? Yes, sir. Also, let's go ahead and check our team because we're going to be using top three, right? So, let's put... Uh, I don't know. Let's put Nalk Stack. Swap with... Tink a tank. And uh let's get going. Let's see what's going on here. Who's that? Oh. oh no no no. Don't run into all those. What are you doing? Also, where's the where's the doorbell? Oh. Is that it? Over there? I think it is. Okay. Hello. Oh. Okay. Would you be so kind to indulge me in a quick battle? Uh sure. Splendid. Poke Trainer Harrington. Okay. More gem. We haven't found any of those. I know it's an old gem, but still, should probably look into where these Pokemon are going to be. Flamethrower. One shot. Oh, you're lucky. All right, maybe we can do a same the save the flamethrower. Do a shadow ball. You had one more, didn't you? Hatchram. Uh, ooh, it's psychic. You know what? I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. Let's give it a shadow ball, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Well, well. Yes, I know. An outstanding performance. However, be aware that young Master Ortega's battle prowess far surpasses my paltry skills. You would do well to take care. Now, if you'll excuse me, hasta la vista. That gentle, gentle manly guy used to be the director of the academy, I think. At least that's what I heard. Now he's like tutoring the boss or something. He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting you're here to t make trouble, so I gotta go let everyone know. Uh, yeah you do. So I'm assuming it's gonna be the same setup, right? 30 Pokemon in 10 minutes? I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. 
That base belongs to Team Star's fairy crew, the Rukba Squad. Their boss, Otega, is the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him, and they'll go south for you quickly. He's also a real lead-from-the-back type. He gets his grunts to do all the dirty work for him. But his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry, and he'll march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out until Ortega shows up and go from there. Ring the bell on the gates. Yep, 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 we're ready. All right, where's that bell? There you are. Uh, yes, we are. Code Red, Code Red, Operation Starfall Alert. Everyone get into position and defend the boss with all you've got. And rest assured, intruder, we'll deal with you without the boss's help. Unless you manage to beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, that is. Good luck with that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, 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 we got this. Ooh, I see a Jigglypuff, hello. Let's go, one, two, three. All right, all three down. Didn't take too much damage, hello? All right, who's next? Ooh, Merrill's, hello. Get that one, there we go. Uh, okay. How about, ooh, Wigglytuff, you're flying. Okay, didn't know that was a thing. All right, 12, 12, 12, 12, we only need 18. Come on, come on everybody, what are we doing? Get in here. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 14, 15. Ooh, we got some big ones over here, hello. All right, 18, 12 more, 12 more, we can do this. Uh, ooh, Gardevoir, hello. Come on, get in there. Get him. Kelty Derg, what are you doing? Thank you. Okay. Almost, almost there, almost there. Skelly Derg is just off in the distance, just doing their thing. Uh, also, we have time, so we should probably... Heal up for our last six. There we go. All right, let's get these three. And then we just need to do one more group and then we'll be all set. Where are the last three? Ooh, Mimikyu's. Yeah, we'll take these three on, come on. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. All right, where's Ortega? Ooh, I like that staff. Huh? So you're Dan? Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up? Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm going to lose to you anyway. If you think fairy types are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. Alright, so I think we'll come out the gate terrestrialized. And uh, hopefully clear the field. Oh, he's throwing out Luxury. Ooh. We might have to deal with some fairy moves. I promise I'll play nice, so don't blame me when this battle sends you blubbering back home. Okay, that's a little aggressive. Uh, yeah, let's give it- Oh, no, I did the wrong move! Shoot, 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 I want to do Shadow Ball.
You know, actually, that did a little bit of good damage, so... Not too worried about... Oh, crap. <laughs> that was a heavy hit. Oopsie! Did I just realize how well matched you are? If you want to give up, now's the time. Calm down. Only because I hit the wrong move. There we go. Okay, we're knocked out. That's fine. That's fine. I think I have one revive left. The only thing that sucks now is that we can't terrestrialize again. Um, let's see. Uh, let's send out Vavoom. But Azumarill's level 50, so I don't know. I'm going to be able to take these hits. Uh, but let's try Sludge. Oh, come on. Crap. Um... Maybe... You know what? Let's throw out... Gathita? Hit a revive on Skelly Skull Dirt. If we have one. If not, then... We're in a world of hurt. Oh, we do! Oh, we have five! Okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, do your Aqua Tail. Oh, you avoided the attack. Perfect. Okay. Then I'm going to hit... Uh, let's see. 60. That will take us close to full health. On Skelet Derg. Sorry. Sorry, Gafita. All right, let's bring Skodurge back out. Hit it with a Shadow Ball correctly, if we choose the correct move. And then we should be done with this water type. And then hopefully it doesn't have like a wave of like water type fairies. Doshbund. Okay, Doshbund I think is just a, a fairy type, right? Alright, we should be good here. So let's give it a flamethrower. Oh crap. Well baked bot Oh You're a punk. Okay. Please don't flinch. Alright, let's throw a a potion down. I think we're going to have to use a max potion, right? Actually, you know what? Let's just use a uh, hyper. That'll get us close to full health. And that should be enough to survive two crunches, especially if one of them is critical. But maybe we'll look out and their next crunch will miss. Or not. All right, who's next, buddy? Ooh, Wigglytuff, okay. I guess maybe we'll keep it with, ooh, no effect. Uh, let's hit it with a flamethrower, see what kind of damage that does. That did good, good, good damage, a lot more than I was expecting. Get out of here. Actually, that didn't do that much, hold on. Okay, so we might get down to number four then. Which I'm assuming is going to be this Vava room on this uh, fairy Fortnite bus. Oh, it's Reva room. Okay. What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? That's totally not fair. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to. Definitely going to have to heal. So let's throw. Uh. Maybe another hyper? Yeah, let's do another hyper. This is where we get to see with the uh, Ruck Boss Star Mobile is thrown out. Move Swaz. So 
Okay, not too bad, actually. So, flamethrower, I guess, right? <gasps> You're such a jerk. Come on. Please don't hurt yourself. Oh, okay, good. Alright, so now we have to deal with... <laughs> now we have to deal with Confused Rays. Um, full heal. Please don't use it again. Okay, magical twerk. Okay, we're not taking that much damage, so I think right now we just need to focus on Confuse Ray. Oh, stop. We're getting real rude with that. Come on, Skelly Dirge. There we go. All right, we're gonna use another ether. Or not ether, uh, full heal. Because I definitely don't want to risk getting stuck in that, like, loop of, like, hurting- Oh! Uh... Loop of hurting yourself. Alright, so it's probably gonna use Confuser again, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You're such a jerk. What is that, three? I think it has, like, ten PP or maybe fifteen. Come on, come on. There we go, good boy. All right, so, you know what? This time we're gonna use energy powder, and then we'll come back in with a full heal. As long as it doesn't do confuse right again, <laughs> uh, we should be okay. Or at least one more hit before we get confused again. Alright, point thrower. Oh, I guess I should be using Shadow Ball, right? Come on. You know what? Let's try Shadow Ball real quick. Come on, Skelly Dirt. There we go. Good job, good job, good job. Oh yeah, definitely should have been using Shadow Ball. All right, uh, we'll do the same thing here. We will use a Hyper, and then we'll use a Full Heal. You know, actually, I don't think we need to use a full heal. Because we should be able to get at least two hits in while still being confused. So let's see, maybe we can try that. Oh, it's okay, buddy, it's okay. You can do it, you can do it. Just throw out a Shadow Ball. Good job. Finish it off, finish it off. No, okay, you're lucky. All right, let's try it one more time, come on. Bring it home, buddy. Oh, he snapped out, okay, perfect. Perfect, way to finish strong, way to finish strong. How could I lose? What the heck? Ugh, what the heck? Your tour card didn't budge an inch, huh? 
I told you, it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile, and I was up all night building it. The problem is clearly that we're not giving it enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two Shark Cadet, but it's just too heavy. That's just a shib, doop, doop, too many S's. That's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks on our bullies' faces when we got it moving. I'm sorry, I really thought it would work. Come, good fellow. Tis no occasion for melancholy. Why, to make such a remarkable contraption by thy own hand, genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all that effort would have zero payout, I'd just have asked Mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take us seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? What? Mellow, cool it, would ya? Yeah, but no. I mean, we even put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? If that hunger junk doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, just gotta crank up the power somehow. It doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep, I'm gonna train up my shark cadet and have him evolve. Their boosted firepower will get the Starmobile moving no sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Melly, wait! You know, Mella shoots her mouth off an awful lot, but she means well. I know. Ugh, this sucks. This sucks, I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down, and going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. Ugh, fine. Now I can have a choice anyway, so take the badge already. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. Not done yet. Here's my favorite TM too. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Oh, that is a good move. And just so you know, you are the worst. Like the most annoying person ever. But I get it. You're super strong. I'll admit that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. Oh, is that his dad? Young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington. Oh, maybe not. I guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all good to head on home. Uh, actually, a different matter brought me. There's somebody I would like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clive. Okay, what's your business here? I want to tell you something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company. So why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you've just met. Well, my answer is the same as everyone else on the team. It's because I was being bullied. So the Academy really did use to have an issue with bullying? Who would guess, right? The school is all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? As the former director of the academy, I believe I am best positioned to answer that question. Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them, and an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who had per perpetuated the bullying dropped out of the academy, one after another. But, but there aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all records of the incident, you see. What? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. The student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No, 
No one told me that. I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad? This was not intended as a punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims after all. I wanted the student to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the Gower region, okay. Under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the academy servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing? That's terrible! After we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in their notices. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago? I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincere apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decided to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. Your friends in Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. So is Cassipia the one that went to the Gower region, I wonder? Oh, maybe they're gonna... Maybe we have to battle them and they'll Dynamax? Ooh, that could be fun. I take it that Ortega handed over his Star Bash to you then. I see. With its boss no longer around, the Rushbach squad is good as finished. I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation's become a huge success thanks to you, Dan. And Clive has also performed admirably as your support. I remember him saying that your acquaintances. Have you known each other long? Uh, yeah, for a while now. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of that gang back in the day. Back in what day? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head on. Their outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star though you could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all bolted from battle the first chance they got. Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after another, and Team Star ended up the villains of the story. But that's neither here nor near. Forget I mentioned it. Now, about your reward. Yes, give me that LP, please. And don't forget to send Penny over. We gotta say hello. There she is. Um, here I am. <clears throat> okay, Karadon really likes you? God, stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? I mean, I guess they do have the same color scheme, right? Karadon has red and blue and a little white. Penny has some red and blue hair. Wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes? What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied, they'd have been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everybody to face their bullies, despite knowing how messed up the Academy is. What a massive idiot. Creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out? 
Uh, I don't know about that. I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. Thank you. The next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Dan. All right, everybody. Well, that is a wrap. We are now just one Team Star battle away from having all 18 badges. And then I'm thinking maybe we go to school, take some classes, wrap that up before we do Pokemon League and head to Era Zero in the Paldea Crater. I don't know. Lots to do still. Lots to do. We also have to work on our Pokedex. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, comment what games you like to see on the channel, how your own Pokemon adventure is going. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video very, very soon. So until then, bye-bye. <laughs>